Quick question, do you want me to build your Royal Q team? Here's what I do. Every person that joins my team, I put them one under each other. You see, I have a lot of people filling out an application to join my team. You can do so in the link down below. Hey everyone, Marcus here. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can build your business with stories. I'm gonna share with you how you can effectively use stories to recruit more people, motivate your team, and overcome objections. So make sure you watch the video to the very end. Let me tell you a story. There was a man who had been unsuccessful in many, many, many network marketing companies. He was recently divorced. He was a million dollars in debt. He had his house in foreclosure. He was living on his friend's couch. But one day he made a decision that he was gonna do his all. He gave his full commitment to the industry. And the way he went about doing it was that he reached out to 20 people per day. So he wanted to get 20 people to say no to him before his head hit the pillow. And he also made one video every single day. And the first four months of making videos, four months, he had no result whatsoever. But he kept doing it, kept being consistent at it. And the fourth month, what happens was one gentleman reached out to him, right? He ended up joining and in a very short period of time, he enrolled 200 people and really blew his business up. So the fifth month, he earned $10,000. The seventh month, he earned $40,000 per month. It went on to be the top income earner in that company. The year before, he had earned $19,000 and that year when he decided to make a commitment to the industry of network marketing, talking to people, building a team, he earned $350,000. Now, this here is a real story and his name is Ray Higdon. Ray Higdon is awesome. He has a program called Rank Makers where he helps network marketers from all different uh, companies become the best version of themselves. He gives them all the tools for them to be equally successful as him. And I'm gonna share with you the interview that he had with Eric Worre where he shares his story. I'm gonna link it down below. Here's the second story. There was a lady that was terminally ill, right? I think it was cancer she had and by all means, she didn't think that she was gonna stick around very long. It was very aggressive and she thought that she was gonna die in a very short period of time. And she thought of, okay, if I go, who's gonna take care of my children? And she heard that in the industry of network marketing, you could create residual income, right? That, that they didn't depend upon her being there, being alive, where, you know, the, basically the kids could take over the account when she left and they would have money coming in. So this lady, she went down to the local supermarket and spoke to everything that had a pulse about her business. She's never, ever, ever been in this industry before, right? It's the first time, right? She just went out talking to people. And remember, she thought that she did not have very long to live. She, so she had nothing to lose. And within a two week time period, she brought in 1,200 people. Her name is Conchita. She's gone on to become a top earner as well. And she's sharing her inspirational story. She lived, right? The, guy, the, the disease is now gone and she is now an inspiration to many people all around the world. I'm gonna put a link to the interview down in the description below. Now, were, were these two here stories inspiring to you? I thought so. And chances are your team is going to think that too. So that is one way where you can use stories as an inspiration for your team. Now, let's take a look at how you can use stories to overcome objections. So you're talking to us prospective, seeing the presentation, you're talking to them, you're asking them, hey, what do you like most about it? And they, they give you a couple of reasons and say, hey, are you ready to join? But they only give you smoking mirrors. What's happening here is that this client, 
All right, this prospect had something called a hidden objection. And what that means is that they have a limiting belief about themselves. Now, they might think that this is the best uh, company ever. You are a great sponsor. Other people are making money, but it's simply not for me, right? Because uh, I have no experience. Uh, you know, I, I'm too old. Uh, I've never done this before. Things like that. So if you have a story, right? This can this doesn't just need to be a story of someone in your team, but someone in the in your whole company or an, in the industry as a whole. If someone says, oh, no, "Yeah, this sounds great, but I, I'm way too old," and you share, actually, I have two people in my team who is in a similar situation as you, who are past the age of 70 and they are also doing this. And if like, really, that, that's me. If, if, if they can do it, I can do it too. Are, are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. When, once you join, I can let you talk to them. Like, well, okay, if, if it can work for them too, because they, they are the same as me, right? That's one way. Or another, some people say that, hey, I, I don't have enough time. And you share a story of the amazing single mother of three who are working two jobs just to you know pay the bills get the bills paid on time and feed all the kids and she's doing it so the reason why you said that you couldn't do it she made it a reason for why she had to do it because she couldn't go on living this way she needed leverage she needed more money at the end of the month right so whatever their objection is look at them with their situation and find a story that is similar to that person there, someone who was in a similar situation as they but they overcome it they overcame whatever they're saying and they made their excuse into the reason why they had to do it so that's a great way to use stories to overcome objections so whenever you listen to testimonials things like that keep an air out and record these here stories so you, stories so that you can use them in the future now the third way that you can use stories is to prospect people you say you you have your personal story there are so many things that you have gone through, that you have overcome. There are so many goals, the desires and ambitions that you have that people can relate to. People have gone through all the things that you have. People have the same aspirations, goals and ambitions as you do. And if you can share that, right, you can inspire them. Hey, I, I went through all of these here things, but I am going to the promised land. Right? Let me give you an example. When you use personal stories, you really want to become vulnerable. Right? Share something that's very emotional to you. It will be much more impactful. So you might be sharing a story of the time where you were living, you know, paycheck to paycheck and you had a lot of debt and you, you, you spent the whole night just looking up into the ceiling saying, hey, what am I going to do? If I don't figure this out, I'm going to be in this job here for the coming 40 years. And you know, the, I, I don't want to do it. Like I need to find a way to get out of this. Otherwise I'll be here for the rest of my life. And that, that I will not do. Or maybe it's, hey, you know, I was going through a tough period in my life. I didn't have any money. And you know, during Christmas, there wasn't enough money to pay for presents for my kids and and i remember feeling so ashamed of myself i'm supposed to be a provider for the family and i couldn't even give my kids you know christmas presents on christmas eve and right then and there i made a decision that i was never ever ever gonna let that happen ever again or maybe you are in a relationship that might not be the best for you. And you ask your spouse, hey, could I have a little bit of money? And they say, no, what for? And you say, never ever again am I, go am I going to have to ask other people for money. No way. I'm never ever gonna be dependent on anyone else ever again. I'm going my own way. I'm gonna make this happen no matter what other people think about me. 
I'm going to make this happen and share them. Hey, you know, there's so many cool things that I want to do. Hey, I want to travel the world. I want to uh, contribute to my church. I want to buy uh, this here car and I want to retire my parents and I want to do this and do this. And now I found a way where I can earn a new stream of income, where I can make that happen, where every month I can treat my family to a fancy restaurant, where we can go on a, a vacation for the first time ever in our lives. We're so happy about that. That's your story. All the, all the emotions that you have, things that excite you, things that you look forward to, things that you have overcome that are pain points to you. If you share this with other people, they will resonate with you. Right? And they say, and they will begin to have a no like and trust you factor. They say, hey, this person has gone through the same thing that I have but they're gonna do something about it. Hey, this person wants to do the same things that I have and they have found a solution where they could make that happen. Let's do it together. So I hope you enjoyed this video about how you can recruit more people, overcome uh, objections and inspire your team. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and hey, if you want my help to build your team, all you have to do is fill in the link in the description down below, send me an application, let me go through it and if you get accepted, I'm gonna put you under in the team and I'm gonna place the next person under you, the next person under them and then under them, under them, under them, basically building your team for you, right? That's just the way I roll. My name is Marcus, thank you very much, bye bye.